From fashion lines to wearable tech, there's no shortage of campaigns seeking support from crowdfunding sites like Kickstarter and Indiegogo. In this segment, we give you the scoop on innovative new ideas and have the creators tell us why they need your backing. This is Project Preview. Today we're previewing the PiBot, a hands-on and completely programmable robot kit. We're joined by Melissa Jawaharlal from STEM Center USA, the company behind the robot. Thanks for being here, Melissa. Thanks so much for having me. So, Tehran, is there anything you think you need a robot for? Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, of course. I've always wanted a robot. Take out the trash. Um, yeah, that's about it. Take out the trash. <laughs> I really need a robot. I hate taking out the trash. I would like a robot for that, too. What about you? I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Now, we want to find out just how handy the PiBot is. And as always, when we check out new projects, we want to know what it does and what it's good for. So we ask the creators, what the what? So, Melissa, why did you set out to create a robot kit in the first place? Absolutely. Uh, so, there is a huge gap for anyone as young as upper middle school to figure out what robotics is all about. So, robotics is a great way to integrate the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and math. And so, what we set out to do was build a kit that was simple enough to help students who didn't know what robotics was all about, complicated enough so that it was real life applicable, mm -hmm. um, and of course, affordable so anybody can get one. So what sets this kit apart from other robotics kits that are on the market right now? Uh, there is nothing comparable to anything on the market right now. Um, anything that uses the Arduino controller, that's what we're based off of, mm -hmm. uh, is $200, $300 oh, and wow. up. Um, and so there's nothing, nothing comparable. So what's your price point? Our price point right now is $75 for the Kickstarter pledge. Oh, that's wow. significantly that less. That is significantly less. Mm -hmm. So, do we get to play with it? Absolutely. <laughs> so, I brought a PiBot with me, which is right over here. You'll notice awesome. it's pie-shaped as oh, well. I love it. Which so is why it's kit, called what it is. I, can, mm -hmm. I, I, I get this, and it comes like this? or No, not at all. So, what the, what's the whole point of this, right? So, the whole point is for students to build the hardware up. The nuts, the bolts, um, put it all together. The gearbox on the bottom, what are gears, how do they move. Oh, wow. And the so, all the way down to that, they put the, the individual gears into the box. Absolutely. And how do you actually make it move? Well, you have to program it. All these wires is what you all could do. But well, what if uh, I'm not, like, for example, technologically... What am I trying to say? I'm trying, I can't even say the word. I'm not technologically, like... Uh, <laughs> Smart. This kit is for anyone. So the idea is this isn't just for engineers, not at all. So this is an educational tool yeah. for 7th, 8th graders. This was actually built by an 8th grader. So you offer all the plans along with Absolutely. the robots. So we have a step -by -step complete curriculum, step-by-step -step instructions. It's great if you have a teacher. If not, we're going to guide you through the process. Very cool. Paper. So can you mm -hmm. show us how it works? Sure, yeah. So what I have right here is an ultrasonic sensor, okay. which is the same sensors that police officers use to see how fast you're going. I hate and so what this. <laughs> Well, they're cool, so if the kids are using them, they're okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, and when it sees something in front of it, it's going to back up and turn away. So it's obstacle oh, it's so avoidance cool. at its best. I think it'll make its way. Oh, there you go. Try it out. Do I get to play? <laughs> Yay. Oh, my gosh, this is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm All right. I'll turn that for now. All right. There we so go. What has the response been like on Kickstarter so far? Is it mostly educators or are you seeing like a broad range of We've people? We've seen a huge range of people, which is really exciting. So we see um, high school students who want to learn more for themselves, uh, parents who want to get it for their younger ones, educators, administrators, uh, as well as people all the way up to retirees who want a fun project to tinker with, whether they're from art backgrounds or engineers themselves, they want something new to do. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, when a project that catches our eye we want to know who's behind it and why they're the right ones for the job so Melissa why you what is it about robotics that speaks to you so much I'm an engineer I love engineering I love design I love robotics um, it's all around us from the clothes you're wearing the table that's right here the cars that you drove to get here and so what we want to do is get kids excited about what we do I've been working in outreach for about five to six years now I love working with kids K through 12 collegiate students and we want to inspire the next generation of STEM leaders. And this is a family affair for you. You and your sister actually founded STEM Center That's USA. Correct. How does this specific project fit into your overall mission? Uh, this project is a tool that we use in our own classrooms. So we've been running camps with this, um, running them in workshops in our own classes as well. So it's right up our alley. Great. So now that we know more about the project and its creators, guys, it's time for the verdict. Tehran, what do you think? Would you pledge? I love her. Oh, oh, yes, of course, and I'll tell you why, because honestly, robotics is the way of the future. Mm -hmm. Let's get the kids started on young. I would have never thought this before you actually told me exactly what it is, but the mm -hmm. fact that the kids build it from the ground up, 
Yo, that's like a prodigy in a box right that's there. Very, very <laughs> cool. You're $35,000 into your $70,000 right. goal. Guys, she's got our support. If you at home want to show your support for the PiBot campaign and get a programmable robot of your very own, head to stemcenterusa.com or look them up on Kickstarter. And don't go anywhere, because actor Demetrius Gross talks about what it's like to play a cop in the new Cinemax drama, Banshee, right after this.